Dr. Olson, how are you? Hi, Michelle, I'm fine, thank you. May I ask you a couple of questions? Please, come in. All right, so my first question is, what is your position? Well, I'm a professor in mechanical engineering, and right now I have the honor and privilege of being the dean of the Faculty of Applied Science here at UBC. And a lot of our viewers are students who want to go into engineering. Why did you choose to go into engineering? Well, I, I really didn't choose to go into engineering. I actually started in physics, and uh, because I had a love of physics and math, but uh, and I didn't even know what engineering was. And it wasn't until I was at least halfway through that program where I realized that I was really interested in uh, creating new things and uh, designing and building and changing the world. And so I transferred into engineering physics. What is it like to have your kids also choose engineering? And how is and will the experience be different from yours? Well, thanks for asking. Uh, so my son graduated from chemical and biological engineering here at UBC. And 2017. My daughter is currently in third year mechanical engineering at the School of Engineering at UBC Okanagan and it's been great watching them through, go through the engineering program. And I think a lot of that is really around a new sense of shared experience. We get, I get to share uh, in their experience of uh, working hard and going through a, a challenging program and I also get to share the experience, uh, the sense of reward that you get from being able to build and design new things. I know your job is very jam-packed, uh, but what would you say is your favorite part about your job? You know, it's really meeting some of the most amazing students that come to UBC and seeing some of the things they do. I particularly love the student teams. The student teams here are spectacular. We have. Uh, rocket teams and solar powered cars, autonomous vehicles, uh, 31 different teams and they all do amazing things. That's really amazing. And our last question is, what would you tell your 18 year old self? I would say take more risk and uh, enjoy things a little bit more and, and not be in such a rush to figure out what you want to do when you grow up. I think uh, life is long, there's lots to do, and I'm still looking uh, for what I want to do when I grow up. Thank you so much for yeah, answering our questions.